What do we call you? You can call me TK. How do you get in the business of selling black market toilet paper? I got into the business because ever since Amazon and eBay has made it illegal to list it online, I saw opportunity to service the people who are in need. What kind of different grades of your product do you offer? We offer three different grades. We offer P, which is our economy grade. That is just like sandpaper. It gets the job done, gives you a good high when you like, but coming on down, it really hurts. Then we offer doctor, which is DR. We call it Dr. X Slam. This is a double roll. And then we offer Mr., which is a mega roll. Now these are for people who like the feeling, and there's no really low to it. There's no come down from it. It's nice and clean. Hold on. Hello? We look for the E. We're out of that right now. We got some Mr. and Doctor. Two? Okay. On the street, we have slang for this. If someone wants E, they'll usually call me up and say, TK, I'm doing a math, I'm doing an English problem for my student. How many E's are in tree? So that means they want two E's. The economy rolls. For the doctor, they'll say, TK, I see the I need to see the doctor at three today. So that means three rolls of BR, double roll. For Mr., they'll say, TK, I need uh go at three three o'clock to see Mr. Rogers. You want to come? That means three misters, which is mega rolls. This is just easy slaying, so if anyone does come upon it, they cannot figure out our language. Who is your best customer? Our best customers are usually middle-aged women, for obvious fact. Also, the WWs, which we like to refer to as wad lifers. We all know who those are. They're the ones that take handfuls of it, and when it's done, it looks like a ball in your toilet, and it usually clogs your toilet. Those are our best customers. Our worst customers are the PSers, we call them. They're the ply separators. They'll buy a mega roll or a double roll, and they'll peel it apart to make two economy rolls. What about your competitors? How do you deal with those? Our competitors are usually the weekend warriors. They're the guys that sit on the corner, they buy a roll at Walmart, and they think they can make some quick money, and they'll, they'll go on our turf, and that's not what we like. How we usually do is we commandeer their stuff. We use a little bit of persuasion to make our point across that this is our territory. How do you get your inventory? We source our products in different places. We have informants. They work the back end of it. They work behind the state. They'll hold some rolls and cases at these retailers and then we'll come in and we'll buy them up. Or sometimes what we'll do is the legal way where we'll see some of these hoarders that have them and we'll follow them home and we'll relieve them of their burden of toilet paper. So we're like the modern day Robin Hood where we steal from the greedy and we give to the needy. The toilet paper being at around 1200 kilo, it's obvious not to sell it because it's better and same profit as marijuana, but you get stuck with toilet paper it's not illegal to have.
very lucrative business, we can make fifteen hundred to two thousand an hour selling this stuff. And if any stuff when it goes away because then we'll have to find a different revenue. But there's always different revenue. Be it toys, be it drugs. Everyone's in a panic for something. There's always a demand. And that's what we're here for. We cure that demand. The supply is low, so we supply it to our customers. So we're providing a service to our customers.